little mag break. Mentally sidetracked, low to get my shit together on the going of this part of the street. If you dig. Oh. This is called the Bloodmire. And, um. <laughs> Uh, I want to give it a listen. Well, I sit and chill, sit and chill. I think I might open up. Um, let's see. I'm gonna listen to songs to the new album. I don't have any notes for any of that shit. Maybe not. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna listen to this one for a minute for part two of the stream. start my stream, keep myself nice, you know what I mean? Spasm. That was fun. Didn't even almost realize I had one there until I coughed. <laughs> that was fun. Realizing all these different things that are muscle spasms that I never realized were muscle spasms until I never reached the thing. Because I didn't know that I likely have congenital myotonia. Dystonia? No, myotonia. I put my and uh so my shit doesn't always work right. And it also makes sense like when we were poor, so I wasn't regularly appropriately nourished. Like I would have more growing pains. My mom called them nice euphemism that it was unintentional. I don't like they likely may not have known that I had my own <laughs> It's just funny. Things you could uh, things you can learn if you listen to children when they speak. <laughs> uh, Alright, 
now we're back. It's, uh, it's called El Nido. And I don't think it's even mixed. Maybe it's mixed. I know I got a lot of automation going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe I am. This mix. Never hurts to give a listen. I could give another loop or seven and, and do the master if I feel so inclined. I kind of want to do the same thing after it with some hard also, or maybe before it. Do you want to clip in front or after? There's a couple resonances in there that I could tame a hair. I bet you I got stuff fucking automated on here, don't I? Okay, good. Woo! Sometimes that causes problems when I automate shit and chow. to deal Gelatinous, complimentary. I can I can feel the sound in my mouth. Break shit.
It's the Saturator! I'll do what I want. This thing's not bad. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to reconstruct it. But let's see, what frequency do I want you to like right at? Like, oh, you move a little. There's part. Oh, it's right because I have. You're fake. You're not a real. I wish you could make it like wider or not wider. That's okay. We don't want to focus then. Maybe focus at like 80. That's just pretty fucking high. I know there's the decay. It has decay. helps because it smashes the top but it, then it drives the the after the clip it drives it longer partly because this is pushing into it so much more now too get it oh, this is cool this is probably too much though maybe although you know it's not fucking yeah. No, not you. Not the fucking bad. Oh, you know what I should have done? Where can I maybe force you? Is the best place. Now nah, I'm about to put some in, aren't I? I forgot to cut the uh, stereo out of this. No, maybe I'll just do it with this. No, I don't want to leave any. The question is, how do I want to...
Just making sure that these are the same. Because I think... I mean, I guess I don't know. I don't know that they output the same signal, but... I can't hear the difference, so that's cool. That's good news. Forget shit too easy.
Hello.
Hey Sam, how's it going, homie? You hanging out, hanging out, or you still got stuff going on? How long did I? Oh, not the one. Just a couple minutes. How many ends do I? Have? That'd be weird. This is an end from there, though. Okay. I just, I feel like, you know what I think I'm getting is like reverb from the room, room, and then combined with the music, it's fucking tripping me out. That's what happens when I smoke weed though, it's, it sound trips me out. All right, I don't think I want to be really excited though. Fills out a little bit. I can trim it with the EQ. Or if I wasn't being weirdly stubborn, I could use the dynamics. Um, but I was gonna do the miniature next. I'm gonna move this full over here. Bop, 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 bop. Nice. You, uh. I don't know what I was gonna say. Cool. Glad you're chilling. Trying to, trying to do this thing. I like, I like chilling. I like, I like chilling. Um, the American politician reference there. <laughs> sort of. I don't know. I don't know if I, if I, if I referenced it very well. My, my skills of impersonation are extremely miss and miss. Really dig this whole like vibe. <laughs> like, I gotta actually make the uh, open and close it to this. I don't think I have. Well, let me list out these last couple measures here. Oh no, I did. I added a. I added a sine fade. We dope, dope, da dope, dope. Or I guess it was like an S fade, but you know. Uh. Oh, nice. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty uh, something to watch. So it's not entirely surprised that it made it elsewhere. But also, kind of makes sense that the UK. I feel like the UK media probably enjoys taking. A fair number of pot shots at U.S. politicians, which I'm all for. This <laughs> isn't too bad. I guess I don't really need to have like too much worry with the. I'll still drop that somewhere. Actually, which is sounds the worst, that's all. It sounds bad. Or less good. Oh, this is like a little dead zone here. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, well, the other thing is too, is like the other thing I get, my perception is that your media doesn't dwell on like one fucking anecdote for like six weeks. So like, you know, a politician here will do something super fucking funny. And then I feel like I hear about it from folks in the UK or see things from like the media there for like a day is like probably how it should be. US US entertainment's so weird. And the the degree to which entertainment and press are the same thing here is like 
really fucking goofy. Although on the other hand, it's part of it's because we have like more, in a way, I mean, I guess nowhere really has, but we have more freedom of speech than some places. We're not like, it's not one of our, <laughs> one of the ones where we're like, we're number 256, we're number 256. <laughs> Probably somewhere in the like hundreds or something. I don't know. Although we did a lot of backsliding in the last eight years, so I'm not sure where we stand on a lot of these things these days. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Did you kind of like um? kind of template it, have like a template in your mind or something, or maybe for most part, and then sort of just like build the, the, the game into that, or... Yes. Tell me a little bit without having to type a fucking novel if you don't want to. A little bit about your process, Sim. You know what, we could probably move you up around here. Okay. We're gonna widen you a hair, I think. Ooh, we got to like there, and up there. Sweet, let's do this. Okay, you still don't need that much stereo back there, but let's open you up, bring you back. That's too much. Oh. That turned into a funny. There is that feedback happened last time around there, too. Oh yeah, it's definitely wider. That's a nice idea too, yeah. Having it like... I've thought through the ideas of like creating my own system. The problem is I don't care so much about the story aspect of it. I mean, I kind of do, but like, it's not what I like, my brain. I want to think about like the structure of gameplay. And and I'm always like, I mean, this is all just like, you know, stoned like brainstorming bullshit. But like, trying to think through sort of this balance of like, simple but versatile and how to make it like, like, but, but, you know, like, be something that would be, like, usable that you just, like, it just works like this. Like, these three rules, that's over, probably simplifying, but, right, but, like, keep that kind of shit simple so it's easy for people to use. But, like, still having to be able to cover all the bases. Yeah. Well, I also like the, I like the idea of, like, um, like, my first experiences with D&D were with, like, friends in elementary school who had, like, older siblings that played and shit, and we'd play these little, like, just silly, like, fucking six-year-old D&D campaigns, and, uh, it was, like, the same thing was just, like, I just made up a whatever, roll for it. Seven? Nah. <laughs> I mean, and so it's, like, kind of over-exaggerating, but, like, I like the ability of a game set up to be just, like... As long as everyone's cool with it, that's how we're gonna do it. Like, just super, like, there are answers for everything. And we will find them on the fly. Oh, come on. There we go. I should polish my nails again. At least it's not, like, blood curdlingly loud, that, 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 uh, big like spiky resonance there, feedback thing that it does.
satu. Yeah, like I had like realizing most of my friends throughout my life were probably autistic or some pretty unique version of neurodivergent, right? And so like, it's funny, I think about it, I was like, some of the, like, <laughs> some of the people that were like friends of friends, like they vibed with me and they vibed with their other friend and me and the friend didn't always like vibe. Uh, so I was, like, those are the types of fucking groups that I always end up in. And then like, so like most of it would be really, really chill, but also too, most of it wouldn't affect me. So it wasn't that big a deal, but it always just struck me as like, not really my thing. Like you get someone who's like, no, it's not the fucking rules. It's just like, dude, we're fucking, we're, we're pounding fucking whiskey Cokes and Little Caesars pizza and, and fucking make it up the rules as we go. Like, relax, homie. <laughs> But it was also just like, there was, was just this funny friend in our group that always hated the expectations of whatever it was we were doing. Like, you knew getting into this, how this would work. And now you're pissed because it works the way we all knew this would work. And he would do this all the fucking time. <laughs> like, Yo, what are you upset about, bro? <laughs> Funny shit Myself sidetracked. I'm okay with it. Was, it was really nice little zone out moments. The, so, hi, here. Yeah, this ends up going. No, it's not, it's not even bad. I, I don't mind at all. Especially like a project like this, this is kind of what I was hoping for. I cut that too hard, didn't I? Where am I in this whole fucking thing? Okay, hold on. Because I cut a lot out there. I was like, why is it? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, shit, where is it? This. my brain oh like uh the the flexibility with rules that you appreciate more i was like <laughs> try to this is the one thing 
<laughs> and it's like... <laughs> That would make me a bad streamer if I was trying to be like, you know, that streamer. <laughs> Is that my ADHD, like I can't keep track of what the fuck I was talking about seven seconds ago. Like I got a 20 second delay on my fucking feed. I have no idea what's happening in conversations half the time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, just, I was kind of self-chuckling about that a little bit. Gotcha! I see what you're saying. Yeah. Cool. Hey, have you have you heard the song I made over the weekend with uh, with my homie? <laughs> he like sent me a fucking text uh, or well, a message at like fucking eight at no, it was like seven at night I think on like Saturday. It was like, hey, send me a beat. <laughs> Like, it's like, all right, let's do this. Fucking smoked a whole bunch of weed, ran into the studio, and like banged out a beat. And I was like, okay, check this out, see what you can do. And then like, I wake up the next morning, and bro had sent me a fucking um, uh, sent me a vocal track back, and I was like, oh hell yeah! So like, I threw them together and started playing with shit. And then I was like, you know what? It could use a little bit of a vocal break here. So that I like just quickly recorded some vocals and put that on there. And then we had this whole fucking song that we made just like over the weekend. <laughs> oh, let me uh, let me play with this for a second and then I'll play it for you. Um, we can we can give it a listen. So let's see where it uh, where Put that like that, and then I was gonna raise. Uh, is there no high shelf on this? Is there? Oh, okay, well. This part's gonna be funky. Is this one? Yeah, this one. Oh, not so much though, maybe. Came in pretty hard. This is all pretty low here too. Let's skip a little right here. that up now. <laughs> so Brandon just is like, hey, I'm setting up my shit, send me a beat. And then this is what we did. It was this sometimes I like the fucking like just the directness and speed of shit creatively when it all like works out nice.
He does a lot of stuff like this. You should check him out when you get a chance. Um, it's spelled like, I think it's just spelled like sonnet like that. I always feel like I'm fucking it up. fucking delay on those big like reverby delay on those like shorties Sometimes I don't know how the sounds fucking come out of me. <laughs> to be real. Like, I legit was just like, what if I did this? And then fucking threw him a really rough copy of all that bass and drums. And like, like he just got this. Oh, it's got extra shit coming from the Vogue still now. I forgot that the way that is set up, I can't completely cut it off easy. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> right? Yeah, I just. I love when these projects turn out like this. Like one of the last ones I had like this where I was just like fucking into it and just like burn through a bunch of shit was Gibson. And I did all my Gibson. I did that over like two days. And then. And then mastered it, mixed and mastered it, which took a little bit longer, but like the whole chunk of it was just fucking two days. Just tell me where the night is, where they find you. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, well, and also too, like just even as a producer, like Brandon just makes fucking boomy, clear, spacey fucking beats. Like, he's very, like, classic. Um, I guess classic's not the word to use, but, like, he's, like, a, he's a good example of, like, that um, melodic hip-hop genre. Sort of, like, more, like, hip-hop adjacent R&B shit, too. He's, like, very hip-hop beat, though. Like, which, I mean, blurred lines and all that. Won't sleep. Now, Mr. B. Remove the sharp this turn. Watch me cross the burn while I toss and turn. Raven with the demons that been meaning to grind me into beat. Spoiled beef. Dance till you can't feel your feet. You can't sleep. You ain't eat all week. I can listen to this fucking break so many times.
the different ways too that the like distortion growls on those vocals. He did a lot of fun shit with that. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Yes, man. Alright, let's see this one. Yeah. It's funny, like, I feel like I can do it well because it's basic. It's just like, but like really any pattern is like, you're just like, I'm in Raza Pattern. This is like the, the template for how I make this particular style of song. But like, for whatever reason, that one like feels more like straightforward and basic. And I know part of it's just like growing up in like 80s and early 90s, like hip hop and cross genre shit. Like... <clears throat> I think my brain just wants to be like, this is the shuffle, and then boom, like, you know, very traditional spaces and like fucking cuts and shit. Well, maybe not very traditional, but definitely like influenced, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, you, when you, whenever you stream music on, you get a chance to run through some of his songs, like, he fucking, he's, he's good. He's got another one called, um, hmm, oh, Big One? I don't think it's called Big One, it's called, but, like, um, let's see if I can find it, but, like, um, it's him and, uh, another fool, but, like, and, and they both is like very, that, you know, same style of vocals, different processing on the song, but like, just fucking, why am I going this way? It's the longest way to share the song with you. Oh, that's what I'm doing now, I guess. Oh, no, I'm not. That's not gonna work. It's just the verse. Real big. It's called Real Big. Um, I don't know. Do you uh, do you listen to music on Spotify at all? There's the Spotify link, but the song is called Real Big. But yeah, no, I was thinking like um, I hadn't gotten around to it. As soon as I wrap up, actually, I gotta wrap it up soon. Let me. Uh, how about this? I was thinking as soon as I wrap up, I was gonna see if you wanted to just hang out right after stream. Alright, it's got the different cuts in there too. It's kind of well. I'm going to do a little bit more work on the mix before I master it, and that's what I'll do. Uh, let me song and I'm at my regular end time even though I somehow like I always do fuck up the, the way my breaks work but oh I remember what it is because I was working on that fucking song we were just listening to like for two and a half hours this morning during the first part of stream so like, I got just carried away and bumped everything around into not my typical order but uh I'm AC Amateur Crastinator you can find out more about my music at amateurcrastinator.com um, I stream every weekday from the studio and just whatever I'm working on and sometimes playing video games as well uh, but check out the website I appreciate all the follows likes and subscribes and all the places if you feel so inclined and hopefully I'll catch you all tomorrow Sim I'm gonna shoot you a message in a few minutes as soon as I like transition and then then yeah we'll hang out have a great day and see you all tomorrow.